The following is a class on Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 2, Text Number 11, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on 22nd October, 1972, in Vrindavan. Translation. Certain transcendentalists who know the absolute truth call this non-dual substance Brahman, Paramatma, or Bhagavan. Bhaganti tattatanyas jatyam jagyanam adhyam Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavani tisam. So, the absolute truth is realized in three different features according to the capacity of the realization of the person. <clears throat> Those who are trying to approach the absolute truth by exercise of the senses they can reach up to the point of impersonal Brahma. Those who are searching out the absolute truth by meditation, by mystic yogi practices, they can realize the Paramatma feature of the absolute truth. And those who are engaged in devotional service, uh, they realize the absolute truth as the Supreme Personality of God. Actually, we have to reach to the point of Personality of God. First, before that, Brahma realization and Paramatma realization, that is partial realization of the absolute truth. Uh, because Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Brahmana Aham Pratishtha, the impersonal Brahma is resting on Krishna. Just like the sun sign, sun sign is very uh, all-embracing, wide, widely spread all over the universe, the sun sign. But the sun sign is resting on the sun glow. We see the sun glow localized. It is floating in one corner of this universal sky, but the sun sign is covering the whole universe. That does not mean the sun sign is more important than the sun glow. And if you can penetrate within the sun glow, then you will find there is sun god. That is also mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita. Imam vivasati yogam praktavan aham apayam. Krishna says that this yoga system, bhakti yoga system, has their mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita. It was first explained to the sun god, Vivosya. The Shastra gives us the name of the predominating deity of the sun god, a uh, sun glow. Just like any uh, gentleman can know or give the name uh, of your president, Mr. Niksha. 
<laughs> he might not have seen, but he knows that the present president of USA is Mr. Nixon. Similarly, uh, actually, those who are in knowledge, uh, they know who are the predominating deities of the different planets. They know. And not to speak of others, Krishna, who can know better than him? Vidaham Samititam. Krishna knows past, present, and future. So he is saying that Imam Vivasati Yogam Pratman Ahmad. This imperishable yoga system, Bhakti Yoga, uh, it is imperishable, abhyam. This very word is very significant. Bhakti Yoga is imperishable. Other yoga system uh, may be perishable. But Bhakti Yoga is not very simple. Whatever you execute in this life, Bhakti Yoga, that becomes your permanent asset. So that in the next life, you can begin from the point where you ended in this life. If you can finish in this life, send person, that is very nice. If not, suppose you have finished 50 percent, still it is permanent asset. It will never be lost. <coughs> Therefore, Krishna says, Abhayam, uh, inexhaustible. Imam Vivasati Yogam Pratavan Aham Abhayam. So, here we find that the absolute truth is realized as Brahma, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. Bhagavan is the ultimate, the last uh, word in the understanding of the absolute truth. Uh, unless you come to the point of Bhagavan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna. Bhagavan means original Bhagavan is Krishna. Krishna su Bhagavan Sayam. All other Bhagavan, their expansion, plenary or <coughs> part of the plenary expansion of Bhagavan Krishna. Krishna su Bhagavan Sayam. So, in the spiritual world also, one has to go farther and farther until he reaches to the point of Krishna. That is ultimate promise. It is said, therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, Bhavanam Janmanam Ante Gyanavan Mang Prabhadda Vasudeva uh, Sarvamiti Sa Mahatma Sudhulla. After many, many births, uh, understanding the Brahma, Brahma understanding is certainly transcendental. But because Brahma is only partial realization of the absolute truth, only the eternity. The absolute truth is eternal, blissful, knowledge, cognition. So, Brahma realization means realization of the eternity portion. Uh, Paramatma realization is uh, Knowledge. Uh, Paramatma knows everything. Paramatma is present in everyone's heart. 
and he knows everyone's activities. But actual realization, complete realization means ānanda, sat ānanda. That ānanda realization is in Krishna realization. Ananda Maya Bhyasa. Krishna is by nature jolly, always full of bliss. You have seen the picture of Krishna. Uh, he is always Tibhanga uh, with two hands, with playing on flute, surrounded by the gopis, enjoying. That is blissfulness. So, Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagavani Ti Sardate, step by step. But if you approach Krishna and try to understand Him through devotional service, then automatically you understand Brahma and Parma. There is no need of separate endeavor for understanding Brahma and Parma. Anyone who knows Krishna, Tattata, in fact, uh, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Manushanam Sahasreshu Kastir Jatati Siddha, Jatatam Abhisidhyanam Kastir Bhitti Man Tattva. So one has to know Krishna in Tapta as he is. So this Tapta means uh, uh, accept the process of devotional service. Tapta uh, Krishna as he is cannot be understood by the other methods, namely by mental speculation or mystic yogic exercises. Krishna cannot be understood in that way. If we want to understand Krishna, then we have to accept the Krishna method, bhakti method. That is plainly spoken by Krishna. Bhaktyanamabhijana. Krishna does not say that you can know him by mental exercises or yogic practices. No. Yogi can know uh, tadgata manasa, pasyanti yogi. Dhyanavastita tadgata ina manasa. Pashanti yang yogi. Yogi also, by meditation, they see Krishna. That is real yogi. Uh, as it is explained in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, the first class yogi is he who always thinks of Krishna within himself. Yogi namapi sarvi saam. Madhgata antaratmana sadhyavan vajati ju maam sami jitta taho mata. That is first class yoga. So, you are thinking of Krishna by chanting Hare Krishna because the more you practice, immediately with your chanting, the name, the form, the quality, the pastimes, everything will be revealed. Uh, as we go on cleansing our dirty heart by chanting Hare Krishna mantra, and as we chant faultless, offenseless Harinam, Krishna reveals. Sevan Mukhi Ji Samevas Purata. Uh, by service attitude, if you chant Hare Krishna mantra without any offense, then Krishna will reveal himself. You cannot 
try to see Krishna by your speculation or yogic practice. If you simply submissively uh, surrendering yourself, uh, chant his holy name, there is no difference between Krishna's name and Krishna. Of in people generally ask, uh, what is the meaning of chanting this Hare Krishna? We explain, you know, chanting of Hare Krishna mantra means immediately, directly associating with Krishna. Uh, one has to approach Krishna by yogic practice or mental speculation for many, many births. Bhavanam Janmanam Ante. They can come to the conclusion that here is Krishna. Vasudeva Sarva Miti. But if you take to this chanting of Hare Krishna mantra without any offense, then immediately you contact Krishna. You've saved so much time. Why should you wait for many, many births? Huh? That is the Gita of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, it is in the Shastra. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does not give you anything which is not in the Shastra. He is Acharya. Although he is God himself, he can make Shastra. Whatever he does, whatever he speaks, that is Shastra. But still, because he is playing the part of Acharya, he immediately gives Vedic evidence. That is the way of Acharya. Acharya will never say, I think it is in my opinion. No, such things are not accepted. No personal opinion. It must be supported by Vedic evidence. That is called parampara system, genuine system of understanding. As Krishna says, evam parampara praptam mimangraja sayogi. No change. Therefore, we are presenting Bhagavad Gita as it is. We do not change. We have no power to change. Then where is the authority of Bhagavad Gita? Uh, I am a third class man and if I change the statements in the Bhagavad Gita, then where is the authority of Bhagavad Gita? That is going on. Therefore, it is practically, uh, you have got experience that there are hundreds of Bhagavad Gita edition in the Western countries, but because we are presenting Bhagavad Gita as it is, our sale is better than all others. That is the report of the trades manager of Macmillan Company. He says, while other editions are dwindling, going down, this edition is coming up. They published our this present a large edition of Bhagavad Gita, fifty thousand in the month of August. They are going to print again second edition, August, September, October. So the reason is that if we present things as they are, it will be accepted. Uh, without any adulteration. Uh, sometimes, you know, people say that I have done miracles. They say everywhere. But I do not know anything. Miracles are magic. Uh, if there is any miracle, that miracle is that we present things as they are. That's all. Without any adulteration. 
So that should be the principle. Present as it is, it will be accepted. So Bhagavan, Brahmati, Paramatmati, we, we do not present Brahma Gyan. Brahma Gyan automatically comes if one is conversant with the knowledge of Krishna. Then he can understand that this Brahma effulgence is the bodily rays of Krishna. Just saprabha prabhavatu jagadanna koti. Koti shu asesha vasudhadi vibhuti bhinnam tad brahma nishkalam anantam asesha bhutam govindam adi purusam tamangvajan. So we immediately understand that this Brahma Jyoti impersonal effulgence of uh, Brahma Jyoti is the rays of Krishna's body, just saprabha. Krishna also confirms this in Bhagavad Gita, Brahmana Aham Pratishtha, Aham Sarva Saprabhava. Krishna says everything is emanating from Him. The Brahma is also emanation from Him. Paramatma is also expansion of Krishna. So therefore, if you understand Krishna, Tattva, Jumang Bhitti Tattva. The Tattva is that Krishna, the absolute truth, is originally a person. Nitya Nityanam, Chetana Sritanam. He is the supreme eternal. Nitya. He is the supreme living being. As we are living beings, living entities, Krishna is also a living entity. He is not a dead stone. He is a living entity. And as we have got all the propensities of living entity, he has got all the propensities of living entity. Here we have perverted me. A young boy likes to love a young girl. A young girl likes to love a young boy. But where from this natural propensities come? Because it is there in Krishna. Aham Saravasna Prabhupada. So there cannot be any question of impersonalism. Because by studying the sample living entity, you can understand the chief living entity. Krishna is the chief living entity, supreme living entity. So we are samples, whatever propensities we have got, Krishna is also gone. Uh, but we have got in a limited pro- proportion, Krishna has got Unlimited purpose. We take the same example. Uh, the loving propensity. Jupati dang jathaj, you know. This is natural. Uh, but we may finish, because it is perverted, we may finish these loving propensities within time and space. But Krishna's loving propensity is not finished within time and space. It is eternal. That is the difference between Krishna and ourselves. So, if we actually study Krishna, the Bhagavad Gita is the Krishna science and it is further explained in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, so the Bhagavad Srimad Bhagavatam is explaining in tattva, in fact, in truth, what is Krishna. Uh, so if we learn Krishna, if we understand Krishna, then our life is fulfilled. Tattva de hanupunar janmanaiti mamethi kaundya. 
So this is our only business. Try to understand what is Krishna, what is Bhagavan. Jasmin vigyate sarame dam vigyatam bhavan. If you simply try to understand Krishna through authorities, through Krishna, through acharyas, not mental concoction, manufacturing something. Uh, Krishna should be understood uh, through the authorities. Krishna's love affair with Radhanani should be understood through the authorities. Not that because we see Krishna is just like a young boy, Radharani is a young girl. If we see her, it is very nice. Uh, of course, it is very nice. But if we do not try to understand Krishna through the authorities, we shall be misled. Therefore, in the beginning, one should not try to understand the loving affairs of Krishna in the gopis. Then, because it appears like ordinary dealing, but if we do not go through the authorities, we shall take Krishna as an ordinary boy or man, as it is warned in the Bhagavad Gita. Avajananti manamurha manusin tanava. Because he is acting just like a young boy. And if we do not try to understand tattata, madanti tattata in fact, in truth, through the authority, because here it is badanti tattata vidas tattam, tattavid. Jai Krishna tattavid, tattavid, that's hai guru. So, guru means Krishna tattavid. One who knows about Krishna. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he explains about Krishna. Krishna explains about himself. The Goswamis, Sar Goswamis, they are explaining about Krishna. And in their parampara system, the Acharyas, they are also explaining Krishna. See, if we do not go through these tattvas, then we will misunderstand Krishna. Therefore, Nartam Das Thakur said, Rupa Raghu Natha Pade Hoi Vyakuti Kabe Hamo Bujhava Se Jugalati. All of a sudden, if you become a knower of the Jugalapiriti, love of Radha Krishna, then there is chance of becoming fallen. There is chance. So we should badanti tattavidas tattyam. We must approach the tattavi, one who knows the truth. Through them, through him, we should try to understand Krishna. Not simply by... Therefore they are committing so many mistakes. Even scholars like Dr. Radha Krishna and others, they are committing so many mistakes. Because they do not go through Tattvavit. Uh, there are so many political leaders who are commenting on Krishna's book uh, without knowing Krishna, without any knowledge of Krishna. Just see, uh, there is impudence. Without knowing Krishna, they want to make trade with Krishna. Uh, uh, that is not very good. Uh, you cannot make trade commodity. Krishna as trade commodity. Uh, you cannot handle Krishna by your wings. Let you be handled by the Krishna's wings. Then you will be successful. Uh, then my Guru Maharaj used to say that don't try to see Krishna. Uh, do something so that Krishna may see you. That is what. If Krishna, if we can draw little attention of Krishna, jat katakha bhoivodna, katakha bhoivodna, Prabhupada Saraswati says, if you somehow or other you can draw 
little attention of Krishna, your life is successful. Immediately. And how you can draw? Bhaktyamama Vijanati. Simply by serving Krishna. Take service. Take to service of Krishna as it is ordered by the spiritual master. Because spiritual master is the representative of Krishna. We cannot approach Krishna directly. Jasya prasada, bhagavat prasada. If you have a bona fide spiritual master, representative of Krishna, it is also not very difficult. Everyone can become representative of Krishna. How? If you simply carry the message of Krishna without any adulteration, that's all. That's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Amaragda is Guru. You become a spiritual master under my order. So, if you carry out the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna, then you become Guru. Amaragda is Guru. Unfortunately, we do not uh, wish to carry out order of the Acharyas. We manufacture our own ways. Uh, we have got practical experience how a great institution was lost by whimsical ways. Uh, without carrying our how the order of the spiritual master, they manufactured something and the whole thing was lost. Uh, therefore, Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur stresses very much on the words of the spiritual master. Bhavasatmika buddhi reki ha kurunandana. If you stick to the order of spiritual master, uh, then without caring for your own convenience or inconvenience, then you become perfect. Jasya devi parabhakti jatha devi tatha guru tasyaiti katita jartya prakashanti mahat. This is the confirmation of all authorities. Uh, we have to carry out very faithfully the order of the bona fide representative of Krishna, then our life is successful. Then we can understand Krishna in truth. Vadanti tattvabhi, das We have to hear from the tattvabhi, not from the so-called scholars and politicians. No. One who knows the truth, you have to hear from him. And if you stick to that principle, then you understand everything very clearly. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll close.